So I've got myself a laptop bag and it's very tricky getting the right type of laptop bag this, these days, especially when you want one that's going to give you versatility. But I want to use it for one thing. I want it to be slim. I don't want to carry a big, big bulky bag. And you'll notice already here, the quality is questionable. You can see little threads coming out from the bag itself. The, the zippers are not excellent. I'm not going to bash the bag. It's a cheap bag. You're looking at about $25 to $30. And if you're buying it, you know that it's going to be something that you want your laptop to be safe in because you've got a couple of grand laptop, you know, you want a decent bag. This is not the best bag, I'll be honest. But the whole reason I've got it is to test it to see what's good, what's not good, what would I change. First thing I definitely like about it is the size and the weight, the quality of it, mediocre, about a five out of 10. And that's mainly because I don't like that thread showing. I don't like the zip quality. It's not YKK zips, but it depends what you're carrying in there. So first off, what, what, what thickness are we talking? Let's get an eye poop. So looking at eye poop, look, that's the eye poop there. That's like thickness of that. Here's an Android thicker big boy with like a big camera. About an inch, inch and a half without a laptop in it. It's by the brand ZINZ. And you know what my name is with a Z, so I thought I'd give it a shot. On the zips, it's got their logo on it, Z I Z N I Z, Z or Z, depending on where you are. So first up, the small pockets, first one here, you'll see the zips kind of hidden in between a bit of a folding plastic. So then go back. So what would I put in there? Well, I would put something like a power bank because I like to have extra charging capacity. This section, lower section, is a bit more bigger, and I would probably put the laptop charger down here. Now, realistically, if you're going out for a long day and you're taking just your laptop, if you've got a good laptop, my battery lasts about 10 hours, so I don't need my charger. But if I'm going for like an overnighter, I will probably need the charger. So a lot of people, when they get bags, they don't show you does the charger actually fit in there. So let's see how bulky it becomes with the charger because I'm, I'm UK, UK pin, so that's a bit bigger. So let's work that in there. If you do this properly, they give you like a little Velcro strap in this that you can just velcro everything together just go like that bam and that can go into here now already i've increased the thickness of the bag so you remember what thickness it was you see that little bulging bulge action going on there now so we're not as thin as we were because realistically when you got stuff in there you're going to start getting expanding so see that little not too bulgy but it's doubled what about two inches now two and a half inches so it's more thicker i haven't put the laptop in there yet let me show you the back of it if you have a, a roly poly case like a pelican or something you can rock down the handle now second thing i don't like these are plastic so if you're gonna wear it all the what do you call this brass this should be like come on man you should have a metal one look it doesn't that feels quite cheap so if I put that on there, that's one. Put another one over there. That's the backpack situation. Let me go to showing you what, what we're saying. Looks like a parachute. It's all right, it looks snazzy. It's like gray. I don't, I don't feel it on, it's not heavy. I'm gonna put my laptop in it. I need to put the laptop in it. So let's go, let's go. Put the laptop in there now. So if I show you a top down view, there's two zippers here, it's expanding. That's a definite good thing about it, I'll tell you why. So first you open the back here, is where my beautiful laptop will slide straight in. I've not got the biggest laptop in the world. I need it just enough. See that space? I've still got like two, three inches there for a bigger laptop if it's 17 inch. Inside of it's got a nice, like a microfiber cloth. So that feels really good. It's got a bit of thickness. So now that my laptop's in there, is it heavy? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad without the charger it would be a lot better but when you're out and about you're definitely gonna buy 
stuff. You think you're not, but you end up buying stuff and then you need to get another bag. The good thing about this one is on the bottom. You do that. You do that. You do that. You do all of that. All the way back around to the bottom and then. Watch this. Come on now. That is not bad. That is a nice party trick. It's quadrupled in size. I do like I like that. Now that if I've got extra stuff that I've bought, I can whack it in here and carry it. Now actually how does it look like when it's expanded on your back? Still not bad. It's alright. It's alright. Feels good. But now I can get a hell of a lot of more stuff in there. And it's got a bottle hole down the side. It's got a, like a cage for a bottle. You've got your standard USB charging system. So you know that battery bank I've got. If I leave that inside, I can plug in any of my USBs and charge up my phones from my bag. So I can just be walking along. It's not a Type C. It's a normal USB. But whack that there and stick that in my eye poop. I can charge my eye poop up. And then on the go, while the bag's on your back, you you've got charging. Like you got like a. If it's raining, it's not gonna get through the little gap if you pull it out of like the zip or something. So maybe this is a good option. Okay, fabric feels a bit lightweight. The fabric itself is not like a not a thick. See that it's like see that it's very thin. It's it's done as waterproof, as in it's uh, it is waterproof. But inside, what we're we gonna get? How much opening are we getting? So let's go open all the way. So there's like a little flap on the bottom. On the bottom, there's a little flap just to keep it sturdy. You've got an extra little bag here. There's your system for your charging. So if I open that up, like that, I put my battery bank here. But realistically, I can plug it into here. Here and then put that inside here so I'm all ready for my charging and then if I want to carry stuff how many can I carry cam I would have put my cameras in like this but there's a camera there's another camera there's another camera some 35 millimeter film there's some wireless microphones 4k capture card obviously I won't put that very neatly because it's just gonna knock knock about everywhere but can it carry it yeah let's go back front I'll do a full day with it and that's when I'll be able to tell if it is not good on your back because obviously it's going to be heavy now overall that looks like a bit of a beauty and if you haven't already been thinking about bags what are you doing with your life you need to go and pick yourself up one of these beauties let's let's uh, unbag it shall we so is, is it easy bam Bam. Put everything back where it was. Some film, microphone, a small camera. Got another camera. So now let's go back and lower it down to a uh, like. So let's close the zip first. I don't want it in the full expanded mode. How easy is it to re slimify, if that's even a word? So the zip's here somewhere. Yeah, okay, so the zip's there. It's like the suitcases, you know, when you love expanding suitcases. Just be careful you don't catch the net in a zip when you're going around, because then that chews up your. Right there.
there back down to slim nation imagine imagine you can get thin that easily like if you're fat you can just zip yourself down and compress yourself that much how amazing would that be so if you want to pick up this bag check the description you know what at the start i gave it a 5 out of 10 probably more like a 7 out of 10 now check out the next video here you definitely like that one gear is where it's at mate see you on that video